Discover what's possible when we think research at Case Western Reserve University. New research about teens and texting could be a wake-up call for parents. This is important information. Um, it's information that uh, people have been craving. Dr. Scott Frank of the Case Western Reserve University School of Medicine surveyed a cross-section of high school students and found that excessive use of texting and social networking are associated with risky behavior. For example, uh, kids who um, uh, hypertext are three and a half times more likely to have had sex. They're about 90% uh, more likely uh, to have four or more sexual partners in their lifetime. On the other hand, social networking seems to be more involved with behaviors that happen in groups, like drinking alcohol or smoking marijuana. Dr. Frank believes excessive texting and social networking are taking peer pressure to a high-tech level. At least it appears pretty clear that hypertexting and hypernetworking might facilitate or enable these behaviors by making it easier for kids to find parties where alcohol is being served or places where adolescents are gathering without adult supervision. It's important to emphasize that we're not saying that texting is bad or social networking is bad. We're saying that the extremes of that behavior are associated with other unhealthy behaviors. As more teens spend more time texting and networking, what should concerned parents do? Consider a cell phone roundup before bed at night where the parents just collect the cell phones so that kids aren't staying up into the wee hours of the morning. Dr. Frank calls the study a good start to future research. The information we've gathered from this study is provocative, uh, interesting information that represents the tip of the iceberg and if we really want to understand it in greater depth, we need to dive down below the surface and see what the rest of the iceberg looks like. Learn more on how Case Western Reserve University thinks beyond the possible at case.edu.